Hi everyone, um, welcome to day four of our Ivy mini series and today we are on the um, padlock. Now I've decided to do the padlock in gold. I know I do a lot of, um, sorry I'm just reaching for the pencils, a lot of gold but um, I just think it's a lovely nice warm colour. Silver for me is a little bit cold so I thought it'd be fun to do, do it in gold and uh, so we're going to sort of get going. Um, I'm going to start with the dark brown. Um, I'm going to use the burnt umber. You can use the Van Dyke brown, the walnut brown, something like that, or even a dark sepia. Um, just your dark, just a nice dark brown. And I'm thinking about where it's going to be the darkest. Inside the, um, inside the um, keyhole, I'm actually going to do that black, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Now this part, I'm thinking, this, this is sort of loop. This, I think, is supposed to be the sort of underneath of the loop and this the outside. So I'm thinking this will be more in shadow and be darker. So I'm going to start with a little bit of the dark brown here. I'm layering it up quite a bit just on that particular bit and I will mirror that on this side. And I'm thinking it would probably be dark underneath there. And maybe taking it just around that edge that's it for there um i won't do any on this bit we're going to keep this bit a little bit lighter but i could do a little bit of dark where there might be some shadowing underneath these um whatever these are sort of bolts holding it all together and here and then maybe around this edge i'm thinking that maybe this is sticking out um, a little bit so we can just put a bit of shadow around the edge now if this doesn't show up by the end we can um, go over it again so it's just starting to sort of mark out really and think about where the different colors are going to go or the different shades of browns and yellows now we have this pattern on the padlock of leaves um, I'm trying to think about what to do with that at the same time. And we could leave that, leave, ooh, we could leave it in um, gold, but I think I'm going to actually do it in green just because it will look a little bit different. Um, I think I'm going to leave it flat as if it's painted on. Okay, we could make it look like it was standing out, but we're going to do that with these. So I think we'll just do something a little bit different. Next we need a slightly paler brown and I usually go for this one, um, this is teeny, um, I think this is the, hang on. I think this is the raw umber, I'm just checking for you, no it's not, this is the brown ochre, okay so it's quite a warm um, pretty brown and we're going to extend our dark brown areas with this, okay so I'm really just going over the top and just making those areas a little larger like that okay I'm I might do a little tiny bit here just where there might be a little shadow in there and start to extend this color a little bit here towards the center of our padlock now obviously we're still quite brown, but our gold will come once we add the browns. And you may have seen me do gold before, it's something I do fairly often. It's quite, it takes a lot of um, different colours, you can cheat and do a few less and still get pretty nice results I have to say, using say like the green gold, like this one, um, it's quite a gold colour on its own, so you can um, use it on its own. If you want to which is quite fun uh, we'll go around here a little bit too I think we'll leave that there and move on to the green gold um, and what I want to do is start this one so we're going to take quite a lot of color up there and here now I'm still going over the top of the brown I find that uh, for me that helps the colours to blend together well and that means if you've missed a tiny bit there's a chance that you'll get it covered over too like 
like that. Now, around here, we'll go, as I say, all over. Um, I'm not going to do this yet, because it's a bit too close to this colour. So uh, I should just take this colour in quite a long way, and we'll use our next yellow on that. And obviously do the same thing on this side. And the same with this edge. We'll bring in the next yellow for that. So it will be quite bright. So hopefully. So just bringing it in. i um, going to keep it quite simple with just the shine around the center. I don't want to make this overly complex. We're using a lot of different colors anyway. Uh, where's my pencil sharp? It's just, I put it away. Crikey. That was unexpected. So we have the um, light yellow ochre next. And we're going to finish off this bit. So I'm going to go over all of it, but leave a little bit of white there, a shine. And I don't know if that will work until I finish the rest. It might look a little old. It might be completely covering over. But... I'm just going to leave it there for now and we're going to extend this bit up like that and we're going to I'm just going to concentrate on this bit first try not to get it on the leaves because as I say we're going to make those look like they're painted on in a green We're just going to extend this gold colour through. That's it. Now these, I'm thinking I'm going to do a darker outline. Okay, and for the outside, I'm thinking I'm going to do darker corners and bottom. I don't know why, just what I feel like doing, a bit there and a bit there. And we'll mimic that a little bit on this bit, like that. Oh, there's a van outside, how exciting, is it delivering something? Okay, now we have another yellow, it's very teeny again. This is the Naples yellow. It's a DHL van. Everyone's getting parcels today. My husband's already had one. And I'm going to extend this up. This isn't our last yellow, so I'm leaving a gap. Oh, my book that's underneath it needs pushing off a bit. There we go. That's better. I'm going to extend this bit around and around. That. So every little bit is extended a bit, take this a little bit further into the centre. Extend around here, two, and put some more yellow around here. I've just noticed I've coloured all the way over that leaf, which isn't ideal. I'll raise that in a bit. Right, I'm just going to erase that now. I've got my Tombow Mono eraser. It's a very nice, fine eraser. I'll just clean the end a little bit. Just get into that leaf. Raise that as well as I can. Now my final yellow is going to be this one here. This is 105. It's this cadmium yellow, but it's actually the a light cadmium yellow okay and so I'm gonna add it to here and I find it's nice to put it over everything everything that's colored I'm gonna leave a little white gap at the top there even this bit here which is a bit darker just because it really is very vibrant adds a very nice shine to uh, I mean not a shine, a brightness to everything. So I'm leaving some white spaces around 
and that white is really important so leave a bit of white in there because it makes it um, it makes it look um, shinier like it's catching the light too much white on there there we go I'm looking at of yellow here it blends everything together at the end as well I'm only leaving a few little touches of white around the lock here okay now I'm going to do my green next and I'm thinking what colour goes nicely with gold um, and I'm thinking I think this one the um, earth green yellowish, I'm just going to give it a sharpen. So it's this shade. Okay, and I'm just going to go over all of the leaves. And because I want it to look painted, I don't need to shade it, it'll be flat. Okay. So it's just having a bit of a challenge there because it's a bit of yellow. It might have been wise to have done this first. But anyway, what it has shown me is there's a bit of white there which needs going over. So I'm just going to grab my cadmium ye light cadmium yellow. Just go over that a little bit. Okay. Now for me, I just want a little bit deeper shading in places um, and I'm going to sharpen my um, what colour was this? the burnt umber that we used right at the beginning and just emphasise some of the areas so particularly around the edge of here I'm going to go over the black line and just try and put in a more defined shadow line I don't know if you can see that very well to really emphasise the sort of shape of the lock and under here as well. Yeah, so I'm just taking my time to uh, get a more defined edge. And I think, oops, I'm gonna go all the way around pencils decided to roll under my wrist which is really useful and also around here to try and make it look defined and obviously we, I noticed we haven't done this bit I'm going to use the light yellow ochre to uh, do this bit and um, I feel that around this lock we just need a bit of the light cadmium yellow and just a few little touches here and there can make quite a difference um, what's I going to do oh yes the keyhole now it could do it brown, but our shadows are brown. I don't think it's quite going to work. I think we need to do it black. Now, if you want it really, um, really, really black, then you can use a pen because that gives you a really in-depth colour. But I'm just going to start with the pencil and see how it works out. Sometimes I think having a rougher, less black can work better somehow. But I think I'm going to put another layer down and make it quite deep. Now with the polys, you do have to layer them up a few times to get a nice deep colour. If and that's exactly why I said, you know, you might want to use a pen. But I'm happy with that, um, with a pencil. 
So there we go, there's my um, gold padlock. I'm running out of voice, I'm going to go and get some lunch, and it's um, actually 20 past 12, so I'm going to get some lunch and a drink, and, uh, and I may be back. But uh, thank you so much for watching, I do hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and hopefully you'll do some colouring, so happy colouring.